Hello. Oh, the lighting is there. We go. It's Libby at Breathe Physical Therapy and Wellness. Um, today's topic is the very um, um, con not controversial, but uncomfortable topic of how to poop. Who knew there was a right way to poop? Did you? Um, so let's talk about what is normal. According to the normal medical field, they say that you're not constipated unless you are not having a bowel movement. Well, it's normal to have a bowel, mm, this is hard to say. They say that you're constipated if you're having a bowel movement less than every two or three days. If you ask me, you need to be having a bowel movement every day. The bowel movements should be, oh, well, six or eight, six, eight, six or eight inches long, about that big around. That is what a normal bowel movement should look like. If you are having a bowel movement that is six to eight inches long and about that big around every day, things are going very smoothly. Chances are good that you're backed up. You may not meet the clinical definition, definition of constipation, um, but chances are good you're backed up if you're not doing that every day. And what are the consequences of not having a daily bowel movement? Well, number one, if your intestines are full or fuller than they ought to be, they can be pushing on the bladder and making um, bladder urgency worse and they can make urinary incontinence worse. Um, there are many cases that we've seen of people who are just having bowel movements once every three or four days. And the main complaint, however, is leaking with exercise. So if the intestines are full and they're pushing on the bladder, then um, leaking could be more likely with exercise. Um, other consequences of being kind of backed up, I mean, you could even have point tender pain that maybe the um, abdominal muscles are a little bit tender over the um, full intestines. Um, there can be back pain, there can be um, just general sluggishness, feelings of bloatedness. You know, you know, you know if you don't have enough bowel movements, you want to know, you know how that feels. It feels horrid. Um, okay, so here's what, here is what physical therapy can do about um, being backed up. So a lot of the people that we see who are constipated don't know how to open their door to have a bowel movement. So if we imagine the anus, this is a circle, it's the anus, what we should do is that we should increase the pressure in our abdomen so that the anus opens so that the poop can come out. So several people that we see, they push and they push and they push and they push so hard, but instead of opening the anus, they actually close it. It's very hard to poop when the door is closed. Um, so what we need to be able to do is stretch and open the pelvic floor in order to have a bowel movement. So what we want to do is push out, make the stomach big and fat, and as we push out and make the stomach big and fat, then the pelvic floor muscles can stretch and open as well. Um, you know, do a kegel and see what it feels like to tighten those pelvic floor muscles. And then when you're having a bowel movement, see, does it feel like you're kind of tightening those, bowel, those, those muscles even though you're pushing really hard? If you feel like you have to push really hard to have a bowel movement, that's another... Um, sign that something isn't quite right. Even if the consistency seems good, even if they feel soft, but you feel like you have to push really hard, chances are good that um, we're not relaxing that pelvic floor sufficiently. Um, you know, what are the causes of not being able to relax the pelvic floor sufficiently? You know, tearing with childbirth can cause that so that we resist letting ourselves relax sufficiently to have a bowel movement and then we don't let the muscles stretch and open like we should. Um, chronic constipation, being constipated all your life can make it so that you don't feel like relaxing your pelvic floor muscles sufficiently. Um, obviously, diet is a huge part of this. Drink more water. Everybody needs to drink more water. Um, fiber is important. Um, supplements that we often recommend, but you should check with your doctor. This is not a medical recommendation for supplements that should be taken, but definitely we need to have enough fiber and enough water. Those are the biggest things to do to keep the consistency of the um, bowel movement good. Magnesium citrate is a really good um, uh, supplement to help bowel movements keep, keep moving 
One of the brands is Natural Calm. That's a powder that you can put in your drink. I don't like to drink a powder in my drink. I don't like to make myself a drink, um, but there are pills that you can also take. Um, very occasionally, if you know that you need to go, you feel like the bowel movement is there, but you can't get it out, and we shouldn't be straining because straining can cause things like prolapse. So if you know you feel like the bowel movement's there, but you can't get it out, enemas are, enemas are very beneficial. Glycerin suppositories are very beneficial. It's not so scary to insert those things and let the bowel movements come out. So those are good things when you feel like there is bowel movement there, but you can't let it out. Um, if it's been a day or two and you haven't gone to the bathroom, um, increased dosages of magnesium citrate, you can ask at like Campbell's or whatever health food store how much you feel like you should take. Um, and sometimes there, especially after a baby's born, Senna Tea, Traditional Medicinals has a brand of tea called Senna Tea that is um, very beneficial for, um, you drink it at night and then it can cause a bowel movement first thing in the morning. So in some, oh, the other thing that you wanna make sure that you get is a squatty potty. Um, you don't need, actually need a squatty potty, you can just use a, um, put your feet up on a stool. When you put your feet up on a stool, it straightens out the rectum so that we shouldn't have to strain to have a bowel movement anymore. Um, so in order to have, we want to be able to have um, a bowel movement every day. Bowel movement should be uh, six or eight inches, inches long and about that big. We shouldn't have to strain. I'm gonna be a little bit graphic here, but all we should really have to do to have a bowel movement is just a light, gentle push, no harder than that. If we're pushing any harder than that, we are straining our um, pelvic organs, the bladder, the rectum, and the uterus, they get a lot of pressure and the ligaments stretch. So we wanna make sure that we're not pushing very hard. If we have to push very hard, the consistent, either two problems. One is the consistency of the stool is not right, or we are not relaxing our pelvic floor muscles sufficiently to let the poop out. So remember that anus is a circle that's about this big and we should be able to push just a little and it should stretch and open so that bowel movement can come out like that. If it feels like we're pushing hard or feels like you're pushing against a shut door, some people do a keggle when they're trying to poop. It is really hard to poop with the door shut. So work on feeling that that muscle stretches and opens instead of tightens like doing a kegel when having a bowel movement. Put the feet up on a stool to um, help straighten out the rectum. Make sure that you're getting plenty of fluid. You know, there's no research on how much fluid we need, but just estimate about 60 to 60, 60 to 70 ounces of water, water is in a day. Um, it's really nice to have a bowel movement in the morning before you leave the house so that we don't have to worry about um, having bowel movements in public. So sometimes you can train yourself, you know, drink something warm in the morning, go sit down on the toilet and wait for 10 to 15 minutes. Some people will even talk about training ourselves to have a bowel movement every morning by drinking something warm, going to sit on the toilet if nothing happens in the night. That, well, okay, so it takes 10 to 15 minutes after you've drank something warm or eaten something before the urge to have a bowel movement um, um, happens. So drink something warm, eat something, wait 10 minutes, go sit on the toilet. If nothing happens then, you could use like a glycerin suppository to get the bowel movement going to train yourself to have a morning bowel movement. Um, so in summary, put your feet up on something, barely push, Drink a lot of water, get enough fiber, which is 25 to 30 grams of fiber. Most people on the American diet don't get that. It's, it's really pretty sad. Um, if we're not having a daily bowel movement, magnesium citrate in the form of a powder, which is natural calm or pills, you can get that at Campbell's or any health food store or Amazon. And again, I am not a physician. I am not prescribing you any medications. Of course not. Um, glycerin suppositories are super helpful. Enemas are not as horrible as you think they are. They're actually amazing to help you get cleaned out. It's amazing how wonderful you feel. I mean, I'm not telling you from personal experience or anything. Um, don't be afraid of enemas and glycerin suppositories. If you feel like there's a bowel movement there and you can't get it out, breathe. Diaphragmatic breathing, breathing with the abdomen helps to massage the intestines and helps get things going. 
Um, stress and anxiety can cause constipation, so work on relaxation. Um, you know, stress and anxiety can cause diarrhea, but it can also cause constipation. So we've got to make sure that we try to stay as relaxed as possible, breathing, general muscle relaxation. Um, learn how to control your pelvic floor so that you know how to contract your pelvic floor just a little, but also stretch and open the pelvic floor so that the bowel movement can come out. Um, if you have any tearing or hemorrhoids, chances are good that you're straining too hard. So we'll need, again, work on consistency. Um, we are so good at helping you figure all of this stuff out. So if you need some personal assistance, we would love to help you with that. Um, so we're at Breathe Physical Therapy and Wellness. You can schedule online at www.breathedsm.com or talk with Summer and she would love to help you. Thank you so much. See you next time.